There it is. Nice and clean. We bought a new lawnmower. We thought we better wash it. We'll talk about it when we get home. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go. As you can see, we took the lawnmowers in and we washed them. They were filthy. Uh, got another lawnmower over here. Um, has hand controls. Wonder how that's going to work out. Cousin John and his wife Carrie. Uh, got a small mowing business in West Liberty there, and they were going to get rid of this John Deere lawnmower right here. So I thought, yeah, I think I'd be interested in that thing. Kylie really wants a ZTR mower, so I kind of bought this mower for her. Now, as you can see, I still got my 758 diesel over here to my left, and that's going to be the mower I use. But I can, though, however, drive this mower. Now, I don't know if I can mow with it or anything like that, but, uh, but yeah, I bought a mower with hand controls on it for Kyla. So, I'm going to get it out. We're going to get it out of here, and then I've got to change the blades on my 758. Remember the last time I, when I serviced it, I didn't change the, I didn't, uh, change the blades or I didn't grease the deck. Well, it's time to do that now. So, we're going to get to that, but first... We're gonna drive the hand control mower. All right. Of course, everything's over here on the side. Not real handy for Andy. Oh. Gotta set the parking brake. Safety first. This mirror will be good for Kylie to use. I highly doubt if I use it too much, but uh, all right, we got to get service in the other mower so we can get to mowing because it's Friday and it's time. I may even block it up or something. This 
blade here is in a little rough shape here. Got a pretty good chunk out of it right there. Corner knocked off of it right here. Pretty rough. We're gonna go ahead and use them there for a while. For some reason, we have two different size bolts on here. Don't know if that's just the way it is or if that's the way it is. And there's our blades. Well, the blades are changed. Took me 15 minutes. It's not too bad, really. I didn't think. But uh, grease this deck and then got to go do some other things. Ordered some tires in at the landmark, so I think I got to go in and get them. But we'll see.
There it is, Meridex greased. Everything should be good to go, I think. Now when Kylie gets here, we're gonna jump on the mowers and we're gonna mow. But uh, first think we gotta get a landmark and see if they got my tires ready. All right, heading in to get, ooh. Heading in to get tires put on the trailer tank. Got the trailer tank back here on the back of us. We've had this trailer tank for a long time and it started out having 11 L15 tires on it. And then I took those tires and wheels off and put some trailer wheels and tires on it. And they were old trailer tires and they lasted for quite a few years. And last year we blew two of them and we're not going to be doing that again this year. So we decided we're going to put four brand new tires on this thing. And when I blew one of the tires, when we blew one of the tires last year, it actually, when we blew one of the tires last year, it actually ruined the rim. So I had to get a new wheel. So that's what we're doing today. Heading into the landmark to get some wheels and tires back when we get in there. Super cargo. Cool. Looks like these tires have been around for a while anyway. New valve stamp. like that now we'll put 110 pounds there and that we said 110 pounds there and then we're gonna put them on the cart there and then we're out of here another job successfully finished 